Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Christopher Aaron. It is October 17th, 2019, and we're going to have a proper gold price update. Let's look exactly where we are. The metals are looking strong. I want to let you know very quickly, there is a special offer for you as YouTube viewers of this channel. My way of saying thanks, this is an opportunity to try our premium membership Normally retails for just under $500 a year. You can try this for $1 only for two weeks. Two weeks for $1. This is available for the next three days only. Please make sure you use the link below. Don't go to the normal homepage. Use the link below. You can sign up. And the reason why I want to offer that right now is that we have just made two new purchases in the gold and silver mining sector. And I want you to see all the latest analysis on what we're doing. Now, I suspect that it will be important for some of you to follow this analysis into the future. I mean, it's great to know what we're buying, but what about when we're selling? And so that's why I think it'll be to your advantage to stay on for the full year. But in case you want to just try it out for two weeks, just click the link below. Just make sure you either email the support team or cancel within your membership account before the end of the two weeks. Okay, that way we can cancel it out for no additional no additional money at all. I'm not trying to run a gimmick here. I want to have only members that stay on. But if it goes past the two weeks, we do have to charge you, just to let you know. So find the link for that below. Now let's look at gold and silver here. And we're looking at gold. I will tell you guys, this market is looking very healthy. This is exactly what I wanted to see as we look at gold over the last three days here, spot price. Um, I wanted to see this market kind of grinding with a slight downward bias. I wanted to see this market getting quiet, shall we say. So a lot of people stop paying attention so much. Looks like that's what we're seeing here in gold. It looks healthy to me. Silver starting to try to pop its head above that resistance line. We were talking about this last week. Take a look at the video for last week. You'll see where we're at. Silver looking healthy in this consolidation too. Now I wanted to do more of a big picture analysis on gold and you'll see me talk about this. This is called stage analysis of asset classes. Now I didn't make this up. This is from a book that I got from a technical analyst actually going back about 30 years back into the 1980s. His name is Stan Weinstein. Excellent book, by the way, if anyone wants to learn about technical analysis, read that book, Secrets to Profiting in Bull and Bear Markets by Stan Weinstein. But he laid out this theory here, which I believe really applies to the gold market, these stage analysis. And the question is, where are we right now in gold? We have these these basing process here that unfolds the stage one base where an asset class moves sideways for a while. Then we get a stage two advance, a really dynamic advance, a topping pattern, and then a stage four decline or a bear market before the next stage one base begins. So where are we with gold right now? If you ask me, we have just had the breakout above the stage one base resistance level and right now we are coming back and we're in that first consolidation above a stage one base. Now this is very powerful. Let's actually look at it on the gold market. And it seems like somewhat of a simplistic way to analyze the markets, but I'm telling you often the most powerful ways to find out where we are tend to be the most simple ways. So let's take a look. Looking at the gold market, where was that stage one base? Now we're looking 2011 to the present. This is the stage one base. Notice it's a zone. We're talking about a zone of resistance. Notice this peak back here in 2013, just above 1400. This peak in 2014, the 2016 peak, and these peaks in 27 and 28, all getting to within a few dollars of the same resistance zone. So we can call this the stage one base, right? Here was the stage, uh, the stage th four decline, right? The bear market that we had for almost five years, the stage four decline, and then a six year stage one base setting up. Where was the breakout? It was right there above $1,434 spot. Now, where does this leave us? What are some targets? Well, first of all, 
we have hit the first target for gold. The first target was calculated as equal to these lows going back here in 2011 and 2012. In this 1525 region, you can see we came up all the way to that level and we've backed off. So nothing random about gold stalling out exactly where these lows were going back here seven, eight years ago, right? But I don't want to confuse the chart because we've already achieved that target. Where are we now? We're coming back into retesting the stage one base zone. This is powerful because we can measure the next target based on an amplitude here from the bottom in 2015 to the peak in 2016. This was a $333 amplitude. If we add that out to the breakout point of the 2016 surge here, we add that on and we get a target of $1,711. This is what I'm looking for in the gold market coming up over the next six to 12 months. So get ready for this. There could be some more weakness still. Gold could perhaps grind back down into these lows, into the stage one base resistance. We can't predict the future with exact certainty. This is what I'm looking for for gold, which from this level, from the close today, 1498 and change, we would be looking at a 14% gain to get to that first target. Now, this is not going to be the final target for gold. We will evaluate each step of the way as we move along. This is target number two, because as I've said, we've already hit target number one. Target number two, then we reevaluate and we see what happens for a potential target number three. I don't want to predict the future too far ahead of time. This is how the gold market's looking. It's looking pretty healthy if you ask me for a continuation advance into the next year. This doesn't have to start immediately. Let's look at where the gold mining sector is. We're looking at the GDX, the senior gold mining index. And it's interesting to note here, if we draw that same stage one base resistance level, look at how we're still underneath the stage one base here for the gold miners, but we're clearly well above that for the price of gold. So there is this divergence. And what I would tell you is that you know, there's always risk in any sector. I mean, anything can fall. Anytime we think we know the future 100%, we should really slap ourselves across the face and say, whoa, take a step back here. But that said, from a risk to reward perspective, if we're looking about a market that we think has a higher target here for gold, and we still have the gold miners below the stage one base, and we look at that same target, we measure an amplitude of the 2016 surge, and we add that onto the 2016 breakout point, that gives us a target up here on the GDX of somewhere around 50, which is an 85% advance to the next target, assuming we are right on this thesis. Now, I would never tell anyone to place all of their, well, I don't even want to say that, you know. I think some people, if you have the right risk tolerance, if you're early enough in your career, uh, if you have proper diversifying assets, some people may place all of their available capital into the gold miners at this point for that revaluation potential that is to come. It depends on the person. More conservative investors, uh, if you want an asset class that can never and will never go to zero, we can pretty much say that for physical gold. It is more safe over the long run. But if you're looking at reward potential for the intermediate move, I'm telling you, and this is why I'm making that free trial for you for the next two weeks so you can see what we're doing. You can get positioned alongside us, if you will. I suggest that you stay on for the next year. Why? Because what I anticipate happening here in this market, this is an early prediction, what I anticipate happening is that when we get into some of these higher targets, that there is a major multi-year correction in the price that comes after some of these higher targets. And we will be taking protective action. We will be taking profits expectantly off the table. And that is going to be brought to you as premium members first. And then we will look at here things in the free channel as things develop. Make sure to take advantage of that. I think when we come into these higher targets, that is what is setting up over the next year. So it should be an exciting next six to 12 months. And then we get ready for some defensive action. That is the game plan at this point. As I said, you can find about that precious metals intelligence. It contains members only videos just like this, but much more depth. We have our monthly update, which is coming out in less than two weeks. That's an hour long video just like this covering everything 
relating to gold, silver, the US dollar, the stock market, and the mining companies we're invested in here. So if you take advantage of that, you will still be a member in the trial for the monthly update premium video that comes out in less than two weeks. Just keep that in mind, take advantage of it. If all of this talk of the charts and potential and risk and what if this happens and what if that happens, if all of that is too much for you and you want individual attention, just know that I work with investors on a one-on-one -on -one basis. We look at risk, we look at reward. I work to educate you about your options in this sector. And this is from someone who does not sell the metals. And frankly, I don't care if you buy or sell. I just wanna make sure that you are properly exposed according to what might be your own risk tolerance, okay? Each individual is in a different situation. Remember that. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you wanna follow these free videos that are coming out. And thank you to the supporters of the free videos on Patreon. That means very, very much to me. Last but certainly not least, remember the Silver and Gold Summit, where I'll be speaking, is coming up October 20, 27th and 28th. I'll be speaking, by the way, it's on the 27th, this Sunday at 1.40 p.m. in San Francisco. Going to be other excellent speakers there covering physical metals, covering the U.S. dollar, covering the gold mining sector, a lot going on. And make sure to save 50% off your ticket if you want to attend by entering this promo code right here, Aaron50, into the registration box. So there's a lot going on. I'll, I hope you will take advantage of some of these special offers because when we look at those higher targets for gold, right? 1711 coming up. I mean, if you have a significant amount of physical metals, I think that is relevant to you. And if you're more on the side where you're wanting to hit a home run or two, this is the best setup that I could imagine. There's always risk in any sector. But this is the best possibility that I could imagine over the next 6 to 12 months to try to hit a couple home runs. So take advantage of it, guys, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.